It's amazing how these women will always try to play it cool as if they are not jealous, hurt, and bitter when they see their husbands. She's obviously just come online just to let you all know that her husband and her best friend fell in love and she's but her about it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christine Grace and today is another reaction video. Guys, like the video on your way in. Let's get straight into it. And, um, I don't, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for feeling that way. Even when you're not together. Welcome back, family. Today, we will review some more crying divorced women who just cannot seem to understand that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. What's the one thing you wish everyone around you knew about getting divorced? Everyone always prepares you that whenever you're going through a divorce, losing your husband or wife, you go through a grieving process, grieving for the loss of your marriage, um, the loss of your hopes and dreams together. Um, but one thing that they really don't prepare you for is the loss of a friend, the loss of your best friend, the person that you always wanted to tell, you know, tell your day and to tell, you know, your small wins and your small victories. And um, I don't, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for feeling that way, even when you're not together and haven't been together. Um, just having that desire to have them as a friend again. Just another day and another modern woman making an impulse decision to divorce her husband without really thinking about the consequences. I bet that she was convinced that leaving her husband was a good idea by listening to some divorced guru woman on the internet talking about how divorce is... I think it should be part of the marriage vows that women will not have TikTok. <laughs> I actually think if you was to really look into it, conduct a study, that TikTok is probably a huge contributor to a lot of modern day divorce, if not TikTok, Instagram. Wonderful. Most women go to the internet not for learning, but to find someone that will validate the idea that they already had in their mind. Because deep down, they know that they are not doing the right thing. Check it out. Is there anyone out there in TikTok land that can tell me what you're supposed to do with your life when you've been in a relationship for 20 plus years with the same person, you have children, you have, you know, built a life together, and then all of a sudden that life is no longer. What are you supposed to do with your life? Like, I, I work, I'm a, I'm a registered nurse, I, I have a, so I have a career, I guess. Um, I have hobbies, I have, like, I don't know, a house. A whole bunch of things that men don't care about. I have all the things that I guess you need to live the life, but I I don't know how. I don't, like, do you, do you date other people? Like, do you, do you sort of, like, I just don't know. I want to focus on myself. I want to be happy. I want to, I just, I, I want to heal from this this whole process that I've been in. But I also want to live life. Like, I also want to have fun. I don't want it to be all about being miserable and feeling sad and, and just going through the motions of life because my relationship, my marriage broke down. Like, I, I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to be happy. I want to move on. And I want to just why don't you actually go and do that then instead of crying on the internet about it actions speak louder than words it's a funny little saying that because so many people say it but so many people just don't actually practice it find joy in life again i know that most of you just wanted to jump on your screens when you heard the infamous phrase i just want to be happy trust me me too it's the same story over and over and over again and again and again it's all about me 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 without even knowing what they really want but then they get shocked when the ex-husband move on with his life like in our next clip. My husband fell in love with my best friend. Now ex-husband, ex-best friend, but they fell in love. It's now been four years and I wanted to share a very important lesson that I learned. The people that are meant to be in your life will be in your life. Nothing will stop them from simply being in your life. If it's so easy for someone to leave, then they were never truly meant to be with you long term anyways. Also, I see people begging people to stay in their life. You really want someone in your life that you have to beg for? No, thank you. And if you're really fighting for someone to stay, don't you value and respect yourself enough to just let them go? I know that divorce is really hard and I know that sitting in the loneliness is really hard, but it's way better than begging and pleading for someone to see your worth and your value. 
You are worth so much more than that, and I hope you see that. So from one heartbreak to another, I see you, and I love you. It's amazing how these women will always try to play it cool as if they are not jealous, hurt, and bitter when they see their husbands. Obviously, like, she's obviously just come online just to let you all know that her husband and her best friend fell in love and she's but hurt about it. Like, and then she's doing this whole virtue signal thing of, oh, I'm a guru and here's what I've learned. It's like, why does everyone run to TikTok? <laughs> I just don't get it. It's moving on. But you can see the anger and disappointment through her. Just in case you want more affirmation on how her life is miserable, I went through her page and here is one of her latest video where she admit on how miserable her life really is. So there are some crucial things that people don't talk about after you go through a divorce. The fact that the quietness and the emptiness in your home when you don't have your spouse or your children is deafening. You have to really get comfortable with being alone and it's very uncomfortable. You quickly realize that you are now the center stage of all conversation in your friend group because you're now living this wild and fun life because you're no longer attached to anybody. And I don't know about you, but I spent a lot of my time crying and eating pizza and drinking wine in the bathtub. Being single is glamorized in today's society and people are saying, yes, good for being single and you should really, really just enjoy. She's being honest. Enjoy it, it's so freeing. When really you lost your purpose because you've been supporting this person for X amount of years and supporting their aspirations and and their goals and their dreams and their desires and you lost yourself along the way. So now you, yeah, it's beautiful. You get to find yourself and, but it's hard to sit in that and be like, oh, who the f am I? So maybe be a little bit more gentle on the single people in your life. All these strong, independent, happy, single, living my best life, women you see on the internet have the same sad story behind closed doors. They are all crying, miserable, lonely, depressed, bitter, and angry women. That's not fair! That's not fair! That's not fair! They want to lead more women astray so that they can all be miserable. Because we know that misery loves company. And it's sad that so many young women keep falling for their lies. I have a bonus clip for you that shows the consequences of the government incentivizing women to divorce their husbands. I do divorces for people that, you know, a woman walks out with two, three hundred million dollars. He was an analyst at Goldman Sachs who built a hedge fund and then sold it and then used his trading algorithm to build it up to $500 million. She was hot <laughs> and slept with him for a while and then stopped and started sleeping with other people and playing tennis and having Botox. And she's going to get half. Like, that's incredible. Like, do you know what he had to do to get that? And what she had to... I'll that guy for 200 million dollars are you kidding me like that's insane that's incredible fellas as long as these family laws are still in place you're gonna have to protect yourself at all times these family laws are literally rewarding women for leaving marriages and relationships when you get married in the west is like giving your wife a loaded weapon that she can use against you and get paid whenever she feels like it so move accordingly yeah well i don't think it's a surprise to anyone that family laws are completely rigged both here and in the states they're the two kind of jurisdictions that i'm aware of women are incentivized to get divorced there's no two ways about it if you can't see that well i don't know what planet you're living on but it's not planet earth honestly i don't blame guys for not wanting to get married at all and I don't blame guys who want to get a prenup and it's a real shame that we've got to that point and unfortunately it's because of malicious women that we have got to that point there's no two ways about it whether you want to accept that or not is your problem but hey that's just what I think why don't you let me know in the comments what you think if you like this video of course please do give it a thumbs up when you're way out and be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of my content and I will see you very soon in the next one take care